Hi everyone, this is Jessica from Stitching Curls and welcome back or welcome to my very late overdue video. I was supposed to be here a couple of weeks ago but I ended up working all day that Saturday and then last weekend I was completely exhausted. So today I'm here to give you an update of what I've been working on since my last video which was four weeks ago apparently. So there are quite a few projects to show, but not that much progress, all things considered, just because work has really um, gotten in the way, shall we call it that way. So yeah, anyway, I've got 12 projects to show you and that has got 19,000 stitches. So interesting but not as much as I would ideally like. Okay, the first piece I have here in my lap, there's quite a few of them. This is the loose one. <laughs> it is Celtic Autumn. This is a lavender and lace piece and this is stitched on 28 count Lab, what am I saying lavender <laughs> a 28 count linen from hand dyed by chromatic alchemy I can't think of what the name of it is called right this time but this is the piece so this has had 1116 stitches on it you should have already seen where you saw it last time but here is where we're at now so what I was working on when I did work on it was bringing the dress down. So it's coming along nicely. I think I'm about just over two thirds of the way down from the top now. So that's exciting. And Hopefully this one will be a finish for the end of the year. It's coming along nicely, but I just haven't put as much time into it as I should have. Okay, the next piece, they're all falling. So we'll have to do a <laughs> pick up at the end, but that's okay. So the next piece I have is Dragon Race Into the Night. This is the Heaven and Earth Designs version and this is based on the artwork by Rose Kahn. This is stitched on 25 count 1 over 1 and last time you saw it I was working on the night side at the mostly, I mostly had that last page finished. There was just a few stitches missing here and there. So I filled in those and I have come back and started working back over on the tree. So some of you may be aware this tree really got me stuck initially when I was working on it. Just I hate stitching trees. So here's where we're at now. So this got... 1,401 stitches on it. So you'll see I did some work on where the fireworks are, which is really cool. And then this tree. I am loving how this tree works. It's not so obvious on camera. I don't think you can't see the branches so much, but in person it is spectacular. I'm just working my way down it and I can't wait to see some more progress on this one. It kind of has been left a little bit to the wayside since I finished that top row of pages. So I kind of just want to get back into it and get some more progress on it. And then hopefully I'll get to see some more of these dragons coming through. So that will be really exciting. Okay, the next piece I have is another Heaven and Earth Designs piece. This is Wizard Septimus, charted based on the artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny. 
So this, again, being Heaven and Earth Designs, was one that I focused on getting the top row of pages finished earlier on. So I've just come back and done a little bit of progress on it. It doesn't feel like a huge amount, but it has had 770 stick, 776 stitches. Six and stitches. Really t tangling my tongue today. <laughs> So here's where we're at now. I absolutely love where this piece has gotten to. And you'll see, I've just started working a little bit down here. So this is the first page of the next row of pages. And there's a bit more of that sparkly, well, not really sparkly, but speckledy star magic thing going on here that goes down to his staff which is here so that's going to be really exciting to see that one come along and that one is stitched on 25 count one over one the next piece i have okay this is the halloween village afghan base well, charted by Stony Creek and I am absolutely loving this piece it is so easy to work on especially when I'm tired after some really long driving days so I'm stitching this one on 28 count Lugana stitching it two over two using CXC thread and the cord for specialty threads so that includes the glow in the dark krennic and the two hand dyes so this one was really excited because it got 2823 stitches on it you should have already seen where you saw it last time but here is where we're at now so, I'm very excited. I have finished all of the flag pennants. And now I'm working on this page at the side. So it's the last page of this row. And then it will be on the third row. So, I really hope that was in camera. <laughs> so, um, here is where I've kind of... I think we would have last seen it approximately up to which is here is where I've been stitching on since so I've been absolutely loving this piece and I can't wait to get some more on it the checkerboard where I've done down here I believe is at the bottom of this page so I've just got to catch up on the other side do the vines going down and then do the pumpkin. So the pumpkin goes into the start of the next row of pages and much like I did for the pumpkin on the other side, which is this one, I'm gonna just continue it down and get it finished. So this next pumpkin is kind of like a tartan pattern. It's really cool. So I'm really excited and it's, going to be really cool when I get into the next row because all of these pennants are like right above all the exciting stuff that's starting to happen so I really can't wait to get some more progress on this one and this piece is also being worked on by quite a few people I know Stitching Addicted is working on it she is about the same kind of area that I'm working on. Um, Enchanted Stitching is also working on it and she's working on the birds on the top row of pages. I think it's page three. So we've just finished page 10. Well, it's Stitching Addiction and I. So it's very fun and exciting. Okay, the next piece I have is my New Zealand flag and that is the Vibsters flag 
So I worked on this on Anzac Day. So for the us that like many places uh, have the uh, Veterans Day and things like that. So I thought a New the New Zealand flag would be a fantastic thing to work on for that day. So I got 2,102 stitches on it. So here is where we're at now. I am really happy with this. So you will notice I have squared off the top of this part of the Union Jack and this Union part of the Union Jack and the rest of it will get all squared off as I go. I just wanted to get to a good stopping point before I started squaring things off because I was undecided how I was going to do it but I think I'm just going to fill it all in and yeah so I'm really happy with where this one's at it's just going to mean that there's a lot more stitching than what it's charted for because I'm squaring it off but it doesn't feel like a proper flag to me if it's not squared off it feels kind of out of the right shape without it being all evened out and as you may notice I have decided also not to stitch the dark lines through it which are like the diamond borders and I'm really happy with that decision it kind of it's all right in some areas but in other areas like where there's the stars further over it kind of intersects right through them so um i didn't see the need to stitch them and just left the little gap for it so the next piece i have is archer this is a pain-free crafts piece and this is the piece that i am trying to get finished for the end of 2024 so this is at about 74 percent 73 74 somewhere in there and this has had 2,832 stitches since you last saw it so you should be seeing where you saw it last time and this is stitched on 25 count one over one and this was using the kit that I purchased from Pain Free Crafts and I have really discovered how much fabric is left extra for the kits that Pain Free Crafts do and that there's quite a bit of extra fabric. So you can see I did not really start this in a centered position at all. <laughs> so I'm got heaps of fabric both on this side and at the bottom so from when I last saw you I finished off the last of that bottom page on the side here and I started on the next page which is what I'm kind of calling May's page although I may get a little behind on it because of my plans for May which seem to be running quite well at the moment so I'm really happy with how this one's coming along and I can't wait to get some more progress on her and get her all sorted so this is the one that Stitching Addicted is also working on and unlike me she started at the very bottom so she has done all of the bottom interesting stuff and is now stitching on the sky so she's around 76 percent i believe so she's a little bit further along but we'll just see how things pan out but they definitely both should be finished by the end of the year which is really exciting okay the next piece i have is the Heaven and Earth Designs Stitch Along for 2024. So this also has had quite a bit of progress since you last saw it, especially as it is a pr pretty small piece. So you really can see the uh, difference in it. <laughs> so 
So this one got 2,026 stitches on it. And you should be seeing where you saw it last time already. And here is where it's at now. So this is stitched on 25 count 1 over 1 using CXC thread. And hang on, let me just move that part thread out of the way. There we go. And here is where we're at now. So you'll see that I am kind of on the fox's second ear. I've just got a bit of filling in to go below here. And then I will be going down onto the next row of pages. I'm going to leave the partial page for the moment to decide how far across I'm going to go once I get the next row of full pages done. I'm a little bit on the fence about whether I want to finish off the bird or not. It just depends on where it ends up sitting and how it ends up looking balanced. So it's coming along quite nicely and I can't wait to come back to this one. Even if I do have mixed feelings about the stitch along as a whole. So it's a difficult one. Okay, we are getting there with these pieces. Okay, so the next piece I have is Mini Red Queen Red Dragon. And this is another Heaven and Earth Designs piece. This was a start earlier this year. And you may or may not remember that I'm working across the top three blocks of the piece. And I'm trying to go right across the top. Sorry, I clearly did not get as much sleep as I thought last night. <laughs> or I should say not enough to recover from the long week. Anyway, so this had 1183 stitches on it. So a good bit of progress. And you should be seeing where you saw it last time or maybe you've already seen it. And here's where we're at now. So I'll zoom in because it's a little bit hard to tell from the distance but you'll see i've got the tree that i'm working on and i think i'm very close to the middle on the side so where the headpiece will start to come in for the queen or crown i guess it is <laughs> anyway it's coming on really well and so this is a heaven and earth designs piece based on the artwork by Elena Lazareva and I am really enjoying these colors they're really pretty all the pinks and purples although I have to say it doesn't show up as good on camera as it does in reality which is a little bit disappointing but I think some of that comes down to just the way the purple catches the light Okay, so I think I've got one, two, three, four more pieces. I told you I had a lot of pieces. <laughs> so the next one we have is another Heaven and Earth Designs piece. And this is based on the artwork by Anne Stokes. I think. I'm suddenly questioning myself. But yes. <laughs> And it is Anne Stokes. And this is a retired pattern. That's why I'm questioning myself. So this is also stitched on 25 count 1 over 1. And I am loving how this is coming along. So this one got 2,229 stitches. So... You should have already seen where you saw it last time, and here is where we're at now. So, I have finished page two, and started on page three. So, you can see there's a bit of stitching coming through, and I it is amazing. The rest were about to fall off my lap. <laughs> so, you can see here is the back of her head. 
so there'll be more here on the side and then there's more of the mirror and I think there's another skull on this side from memory so I'm really excited to ha see how this one's gonna come along and progress as it goes through okay the next piece I have is another heaven and earth designs piece this is mini heart of the storm and this is based on the artwork by Lisa Parker so I'm loving this one although I'm in a not so fun stitching area I should say so the progress isn't all that visible so you should have seen where you saw it last time but here is where we're at now so this one got 790 stitches so that's a full percent got another part to shuffle out of the way <laughs> of in the darkness so you can I think from memory I was just about finished this page last time you saw it and now I finished that off and did quite a few stitches in the owl here there are a few holes here and there so it's not fully finished yet in the owl area but it is coming along nicely and it's going to be exciting. This is one that Stitching Addicted is also working on and she has finished the body of the owl but she's working in a few different areas so it's really interesting to see how they look. Okay two more. <laughs> I feel like I've been here for quite some time. So the next one I have is another Heaven and Earth Designs piece. Both of the ones remaining are Heaven and Earth Designs pieces. So this is Christmas Lodge and this is based on the artwork by Dominic Davidson. And this is quite a big piece and you may remember that I have been working in the curtains a lot in this one <laughs> so I haven't actually gotten outside of these curtains and when I was stitching on it I was reasonably tired and just decided I would just go down so you should have already seen where you saw it last time but all I've done is filled in down here all of those the wood framing of the window I think it is a window or it look, kind of looks like a bookshelf but yeah so it's a timber of some description once I get further down I'll probably be able to have a better idea of what it is it was interesting to work on this one and I really need to work on it more next time and work more over on here There'll be a bit more of the framing for the windows and then I will get into some more colours and that will really make those curtains really pop on this fabric and really come to life. It's going to be really cool but I just need to put some more time into it and I think it's one of those pieces because I've only got the curtains done there's not much exciting things to look at so it becomes a little bit of a difficult one <laughs> but yeah. So that one had 1126 stitches on it. Okay, I have one more piece to show you. And that is Lackadaisy Card Shark based on the artwork by Tracy Butler. And this is again a 25 count. As you probably have noticed already, I do stitch pretty much all of my full coverages on 25 count. So, Lake and Easy Card Chart did not get a huge amount. It got 615 stitches. Here is where we're at now. You should have already seen where we were at. And I've lost all my lighting, it looks like. <laughs> so, I mainly worked on this page trying to get a bit more of the confetti done. Because I'm worried that I will get to the end of this page because there's only this left that's not black on this next page 
So any, everywhere from here down to about there is not really black. And I'm really worried that I'll get to the end of the black before I get to the end of the confetti. Because I've been doing quite a bit of the stitching of the black recently. And yeah, it's been easy to work on that black. <laughs> Especially once I've got very much the framework for it. I've got, I've found that other corner. I've found where it starts to curve downwards. So pretty much from here to here is all black going down the full piece. There's a few areas where uh, it isn't very deep and that is why I couldn't take any of that edge framework off. I looked at it but there are bits like where her elbow is at the bottom that kind of go significantly into that black section. So just have to deal with it and go with it. So sorry about this one. It's been quite a bit of a long video and I hope everyone's all going well and that for anyone who has Mother's Day tomorrow, that you make the most of it and enjoy it. So happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Uh, the only real other thing I have to talk about is my plans for May, which we're already part way through, given that my video kind of got a little bit derailed over the last few weeks. And my plans are that I chose 14 pieces, 13 pieces, and have them in a wheel that is allowing repeats. And one of those options is a piece that's outside of all of those other selections. And another one of those options is a new start that has not rolled around yet. So we'll see what happens. And... It just means I just work on that one piece. I have given myself an out in that if I'm really, really tired, I will just work on the Halloween Afghan or the Halloween Halloween Village Afghan, I should say. <laughs> and that may happen coming up this week for a couple of nights because I do have a couple of long trips ahead of me. But other than that, things are all going well and I can't wait to get some more stitching done. I will leave you all to it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a good couple of weeks. Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Bye.